Hi everyone, uh, I want to create a series of tutorials that look at Unreal Studio and a process of modeling geometry in Rhino 3D, importing it into Unreal Studio, and how to create some kind of uh, basic master textures um, and kind of a workflow that's been working for me. Uh, so this video is filmed in uh, late September of 2018. Obviously these things change and evolve over time, uh, but let's go ahead and get started. First and foremost, uh, you're going to need Unreal Studio. Unreal Studio is a version of Unreal Engine that has some new features for enterprise solutions. Part of that is Datasmith. Datasmith is an import-export kind of plugin. It's the bridge between a lot of different 3D modeling software platforms and Unreal Engine. Um, without Datasmith, uh, some of the techniques uh, that we're using today would take much, much, much longer. Uh, so you can join the beta of Datasmith. Um, I believe it's free through 2019. Um, it may go longer, but ultimately we'll go to subscription. So once you create an account and install it, you'll be able to launch uh, 4.20.3 is the version I'm working on right now. And under new projects, I'm going to create a blank Unreal Studio project. I can create a series of blueprint projects here, anything from VR uh, to kind of top-down games, but we can also import those features into our blank project. So this is going to be uh, uh, a file that I just call workflow and I'll create this project. It will create the project in kind of a, a My Documents, Unreal Editor, uh, and then a new di uh, directory named Workflow to keep all the files together. Um, you can specify where that sits, uh, but that will bring you into Unreal Engine. Now, Unreal Engine is a, a very complex and complicated piece of software. There's lots of options. Uh, right now, I'll just go over what we're looking at. So there's kind of uh, creation tools over here. I can click a cube and drag it into the scene. You can see here I have a gizmo right on it. Uh, I'm using the W, E, and R. I can control its position with the W, its rotation with E, and its scale with R. I can, I can left click it and delete it. Down here will be our content. This is where objects that we import, textures and materials that we import, they'll pop up down here. Uh, this would also contain blueprints. Blueprints are kind of snippets of code that run different portions of the game in Unreal Engine. Here on the right, when I click a given object, I get the details of that object. And up here at the top, you can see um, I have the world outliner, which is every object within the scene. So here I can look at the sky sphere, or let's say the, the light source, and I can manipulate and change those objects. Uh, I can also hide them, turn them on and off. Let's look at the floor. We can turn things off like that. In Unreal, I can use right click to look around. I can use left click to pan the camera. I can use middle click uh, to kind of dolly left and right, up and down, without kind of moving its position. Um, when I'm using right click, I can use W, uh, A, S, and D, and uh, this the WASDA controls will let me fly around my scene. Now, depending on how big the scene is, I can also control the speed of the camera. The camera speed up here uh, lets me really, really slow down my camera. Here it is in speed one but I can also speed it up quite a bit. In speed eight, um, I'm now very far away very, very quickly. I usually keep my speed around four, unless my level is very big or very small. In a situation like this, I have the floor here. By double clicking the floor, I kind of zoom onto that object and then I can move back around. Up here, we have a few different settings. Uh, in our world settings, they'll bring up uh, these options here. This is something we'll get into in later tutorials. Uh, we also have project settings. The project settings, the one issue here that I want to, or one option I want to look at are maps and modes. As you create levels within your game, as you make a save of your game, um, we want to make sure that our editor startup comes to the level we're working on. So let's say that we import some geometry, uh, we start working with textures and navigation and a virtual reality component. I'd probably want to change this. So the next time I open my uh, Unreal Engine uh, file, it comes right to the level I was working on. Similarly, I can set kind of the default map for the start of the game, so when we compile to an EXE, uh, it would be built in and ready to begin on that level. Uh, a little bit later on, we'll look at some of the other controls here. Um, the final part I want to look at is here, the import Datasmith. So once I have Datasmith installed as a plugin, and you can see it, it kind of updates fairly often, uh, once I have Datasmith installed as a plugin, I can click this button and link to a Datasmith file. I can also click this drop down 
and I can import a variety of CAD files. Because I'll be working with Rhino 3D, I'm going to import CAD, and I'm going to show you how to do that in the process I use in the next tutorial.